Hello, I have a mathematical puzzle for you. It's quite an old puzzle, but this is a slightly new way of presenting it. You can see here I have four beverages. I've taken the beverage order. I've been and bought some teas and coffees from the shop and I've arrived back with my four cups of beverage of some description. And someone has asked me a question. Do all the teas have milk in them? It's a completely reasonable question. Uh, and the puzzle here is to try and work out which of these cups you need to check in order to say whether or not for sure all the teas have milk in. Um, so you can see, for example, that this one and this one have both got lids on and they are labelled, so you know they're definitely tea and coffee. And over here, they're not actually labelled, but you can tell just by looking whether or not they've got milk in, but you maybe can't tell whether or not they're tea or coffee. And uh, the question is, which ones do you have to check? So you could maybe take the lid off one of the cups to see whether it's got milk in, or you could um, have a sniff of one of the other ones to see whether it's tea or coffee. But which ones do you need to check? I'll give you a minute to think about it. Okay, so you've had a minute to think about it, and hopefully you've made a decision as to which of these four cups you need to check. Uh, and I guess there are a couple of obvious things that jump out at you. So for instance, this cup of tea, uh, if that hasn't got milk in it, then the statement all the teas have milk in is definitely false. So we need to check whether this tea has got milk in it. Uh, and another thing we should probably also check is that this unmilked beverage over here, if that's tea, that's also going to make our statement false. So we should probably check that to make sure that that is not tea. Um, and that is actually all you need to check. But there are some people who would say that you also need to check this one. Uh, and it's kind of an instinctive thing that you think, okay, I also need to check that, but you actually don't because that has definitely got milk in. So if it is tea, our statement is true. If it's coffee, it doesn't matter. So either way, the statement is still true whether or not that one is tea. So you don't actually need to check and you obviously don't need to check this coffee to see whether it's got milk in because that's also irrelevant. Now this is actually a slightly different way of presenting a very old long-standing puzzle which is usually presented in the form of a set of four cards and the cards say A, B, 1 and 2. And the question in that case is does every vowel have an odd number on the back? And this is exactly the same question because again we've got two properties whether it's tea or coffee, whether it's got milk or not got milk and again whether it's a vowel or a consonant, whether it's an odd number or an even number and in that case when you present this to people quite a lot of them will say okay yes you need to turn over the A to see whether it's got an odd number on the back and you need to turn over this even number 2 to make sure it hasn't got a vowel on the back but a lot of people will also suggest that you turn over the one. Uh, and it's just because you're not used to thinking about statements that are this kind of one-way implication. If it's tea, then it's got milk in. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that just because it's got milk in, it has to be tea. Uh, there is actually a different way of presenting this that people seem to do a lot better at. And that's the situation where you go to a party and you need to determine whether anyone is drinking underage. And in that situation, your analogy would be that you have uh, two people who kind of look like they might be under or over 18. One of them's definitely drinking a beer and the other one is definitely drinking a bottle of milk. Uh, and then you've got two people, one of whom definitely looks like they're old enough to be drinking and one of whom is basically a child and they're both holding a sort of anonymous looking red cup and you don't know what's in it. And in that situation, uh, you ask people whose drinks and whose IDs do you need to check and they will immediately answer correctly. They'll say you need to check the ID of the person that's holding a beer, you don't need to check the ID of the person who's holding a bottle of milk and of the two people that are holding uh, drinks you need to check the child's drink to see whether or not it's got booze in it. And they're very good at doing it that way around and it's probably because you're more used to dealing with that kind of one-way implication. If you're under 18 you're not allowed to drink alcohol. So maybe you got this one right but if not don't worry about it because a lot of people do.